Hey, Zips fans, Chad Welker here with the Zips Digital Network update as baseball defeats Salem University 16-1 to over at Skeels Field. Head coach Chris Sabo and pitcher Tate Heidinger had some comments after the contest. We had quality pitches today. We were just trying to come out and throw strikes and uh, make them compete. The weather wasn't the greatest, and I always say that I would rather hit in the rain or pitch in the rain than hit in the rain. So, you know, we were just trying to go out there and go right after them and just give them the best we got, and I think uh, all, th all the guys we threw out there today did a good job of that. I mean, uh, my toughest inning was in the rain, so you know I was just trying to bear down and throw everything in the strike zone there. It's tough with the ball's wet; you got to change it out all the time. There's a lot going on, but I was just doing my best to throw strikes and put it in the zone because you know hitting in the rain sucks. They're not going to have any time hitting the, uh, have a fun time hitting the wet ball. So that was great for us. Pitching staff is incredible this year. You know, we had a few guys come in and a lot of guys come back from last year, and I'm super happy with our staff. You know, we got a lot of guys that love to compete, go out there and throw the ball hard. And I think we're gonna we're gonna represent really well on the MAC this year. You know, I think we got a lot of guys that can bring it, and I and I have 100% confidence in everybody on our staff. That was good, good bounce back. Uh, we struggled offensively uh, yesterday. Uh, similar day today, wind blowing in really hard. I thought our guys made good adjustments of, of trying to keep the ball out of the air, trying to hit the ball on the ground, line drives. And when you have the you know 30 mile an hour wind blowing in, that's the only way you can do it. Uh, so they made a good adjustment. I, I was proud of them that they came back today. Uh, yesterday was disappointing. They were disappointed. Uh, but they took care of business uh, today, like I said. Uh, now the key is can we do it two straight days? You know, when, when we get in the MAC competition, we have to play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four games in three days. So you have to bring it every day. So good day today. Question is can, they, uh, can the kids go home, uh, get a good night's rest, and come back tomorrow and have the same kind of energy and same kind of approach? both offensively and defensively and, uh, and pitching-wise. I thought they were pretty patient. Obviously, uh, Salem was struggling with their pitching a little bit, uh, throwing strikes, uh, but our guys were disciplined. They weren't swinging at bad pitches, and uh, that's what happens. Walks, walk, to me, you know, the old saying, walk is as good as a hit, and that's exactly right. So uh, it was good. We've had a couple big innings in our four games, so it's good to see. Last year, we didn't have too many, so this is a good thing. We emphasize... Uh, you know, throwing strikes. I mean, we. I, th I think overall we have a pretty good defense. Uh, we got a great field. Skills Field is a great field. You're not going to get any bad ops. So, we're, we're, hey, pit, especially when the wind's blowing in, no reason to walk anyone. Let them hit the balls. Try to hit it as far as they can. And I ain't going to anywhere. So throw strikes. Uh, I think the only run they scored, they, I think they scored a run, uh, walks. I mean, that's a little disappointing as many walks as we had. And we're going we're to have to clean that up, especially when we go in the MAC competition. Uh, but they, they know that, and that's why we're throwing them out there and trying to get their work in. But that's that's always the goal, is to try to get as many guys in there. I'm, I'm old school. I like to have a set lineup for the most part. Uh, but any time you can give uh, uh, some guys a chance to have uh, an at-bat or an inning, the, uh, pitching is great. Uh, you know, Cheatham uh, got his hit. You know, it's the first time he ever played in a Division One game, and his first A-B got a base hit. Uh, it's good to see Hera, uh, Kite O'Hara. He's been, he's been really working hard all, all year, and good to see him put a, a couple good swings on it. And a couple other guys got in there, too. Pete Beck's been working really hard uh, for us behind the plate, and it was good to uh, give him a chance to catch a little bit. Thanks, Coach. The baseball team will be back in action tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. over at Skeels Field, take on Grand Valley State. For all the latest information on the baseball team, head over to GoZips.com. Follow them on Instagram and Twitter at ZipsBB. This is Chad Welker for the Zip Digital Network. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, and as always, go Zips!